Welcome to the Golf Garage. My name is Willie. I'm the head professional at Homestead Farms Golf Club. And the reason we're here today is a bunch of brand new Hanma equipment. They're brand new 2021 lineup. And we're gonna take a first look at a product that they are very excited about, the Hanma TR21 Big LB Fairway Wood. Now that's a real long name, but that's all right. We're gonna break it down, we're gonna get into it, and we're gonna see if we can hit some bombs. Now, if you're like me and you're from America, you probably don't know much about this company, but that's all right. We'll give you a brief breakdown. They started making golf clubs in 1959 in Yokohama, Japan. It wasn't until the 80s until they moved over to Sakata, Japan, where they still make golf clubs and shafts today. One of the very few companies that I even know of that make golf club heads and shafts. So that offers a cool, unique opportunity for Hanma to make shafts specifically for their heads. Now Hanma has been mostly known up to this point in North America as a luxury brand, as a brand that sells to celebrities and presidents and stuff like that with really high price tags. But this is the new TR lineup, which is their, I believe called Tour Range, but it is directly aimed at the likes of Callaway, TaylorMade, Ping, Titleist, you name it. Any company that's big in North America, Hanma is taking on directly with these clubs. These are no longer kind of a luxury club. They're still really well made, and the craftsmanship from Hanma is still there but they're competing for good players. And a large part of that was due to Justin Rose and the company signing Justin Rose. Justin Rose won a tournament with them, but it didn't last that long as the company split ways. But a partnership like that with a big time player on the PGA Tour can really propel a company. And I think it's starting to really happen with this company, especially with the TR21 lineup. The TR21 lineup is only a fairway wood, hybrid, and iron lineup. They have a TR20 lineup that actually isn't that old either, but that is drivers and other irons as well. Now let's take an actual closer look at the club we're reviewing today, which is a three wood, but they also make a normal three wood. This is kind of their special edition three wood, their big headed three wood. That's called, it's called the big LB. Now the LB doesn't stand for long ball and I wish it did, but it stands for low balance. And what that means is low center of gravity. So this three wood is stretched very far back from the face to the bottom of the golf club. What this does is it sinks the CG really low, which promotes really high and hopefully long ball flights. So this club overall is pretty big, but if you know anything about Hanma, they design beautiful shapes. So although it is big, it is not ugly whatsoever. It is a wonderful shape. The face depth is not too deep. So it is a 14 degree, and these clubs do have adjustable hosels. They have four different settings with settings in between as well. So you can go open, flat, neutral, or closed. But the coolest thing about this adjustment is the fact that the shaft never rotates when it goes in the head. It always lines up on this white line right here. So what that means is your shaft will always be in the same orientation. So with other clubs with their fitting change, you're actually rotating the shaft, which can affect the way that the shaft plays. So here you're getting true face rotation with nothing happening to the shaft and not to mention nothing happening to the grip. For me being a guy who loves ribbed grips, that's a nice addition. So I think I've gone on rambling about the company and the club enough. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've got the SkyTrack set up. I've got some fresh balls waiting for us and we're gonna see how long this three wood really is. So I forgot to mention what shaft we're using today, and that is the stock Vizard 70 X-Flex. But they also make a blue and a red, a high kick point and a low kick point. We might give these a try as well, but we'll see how we fare with the stock X-Flex. I have my settings set to open, so we're down to 13 degrees. I have the green set at 290 yards. Let's see if we can hit it. Try to hit a little cut. Shaft feels pretty good from the waggle test. I uh, hit a little thin. See if it'll get there. Oh, it just might. Okay. 
review's over. That's right next to the hole. So I thought I hit that one pretty thin, but apparently uh, the big LB likes a thin shot. So that was quite nice. Hit a little cut in there. It didn't spin too much, 3,600. Ball speed stayed pretty high. And I think that's due to this speed slot that's down in the bottom here. I've had a chance to hit this before and any thin balls I've been hitting, the ball speed's been staying high, which is really nice when you're hitting three wood majority off the deck. So I was still able to carry that 288 with a thin strike. That felt more solid. Yeah, a little draw. Going a little left, but that is nice. That is nice. 2600 spin, the shaft feels pretty good for being a uh, stock X. I usually like something a little stiffer. Let's go for another cut. <laughs> Felt pretty solid. Definitely pulled it and it's cutting. Ooh, that one's pretty. That one's pretty. Oh, I like that. Pull cut 291 in the air. That's pretty nice. I think we'll take that. Let's go for another draw. Draw is not my strongest golf shot, but we'll try it. Oh, I might've done it. That felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. Wow. Okay, so I may have to reconsider putting a three wood in the bag because this is pretty nice. Wow. Spin rate staying low, able to shape it, able to hit one thin, it's still forgiving. Looks great down by the ball. So far, not a lot of negatives here. Let's try one last ball. Let's try to hit one dead straight, see what happens. That's not dead straight, but I tried. Well, that actually stayed pretty straight. Wow. Put a little bit more spin on that one, as you can see, 4,000, so it landed soft. Still carried out there. Now, I think we should open it up a little bit. We should clear this green and just see how far we can carry a few of these. All right, the green is gone. I've got one of the tightest shirts I own on and we're ready to hit some bombs. So let's do it. Let's swing hard. Let's amp up another gear and see how the big LB reacts. Try to carry one 300 here. Oh man, it feels good off the face. Just like that. 299, okay. So we gotta amp it up a little more to get to 300 though. 178 ball speed out of a three wood. That's kind of crazy. And that's, I mean, my driver ball speed, it's above that, but not by, not by a crazy amount. So that's impressive. I left it a little bit open, but man, this thing feels good off the face. Not too bad. A little weak cut out there. I can square that up a little bit better. I know I can. Felt pretty good. Pretty much everything on the face feels pretty good with this thing. Spin's starting to go up a little bit. That's why you're seeing it float like that. Yeah, that spun a little too high, but our speed is up. So let's see if we can flatten out the spin with this one. Might have drew a little bit. I definitely flattened it out a little. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, 299 just seems to be the number. We're gonna throw the blue shaft in, the higher kick point. We'll see what that does. Okay, I've got the blue FP7X high kick point Vizard shaft in here, and it feels pretty good from the first waggle test. Let's see how this does. That felt really good. That launched a little high. I think I hit it a little bit high on the face. But that is going a long ways. 292. Ah, I hit it thin, but the shaft feels a lot better. I feel a lot less kind of play going on down at impact. Feels a little bit more rigid. And that feels nice. Feels really nice. 
that was a little high on the face, but maybe drawn. Yep. Drawn a little bit. That feels very good. Let's go for a high cut, just right over 300 yards. Man, this head feels so stinking good. So good. I said high cut and we sure got it. Only 282 in the air though, but my goodness, that is crazy high. Let's see if we can flight one down with this back in the stance and just hammer on it. It's definitely low. Oh yeah. Little low riser. That is pretty. Launched at five. It's kind of a funny ball flight. Let's see if we can hit a low cut. I will take it. Easy to shape with this shaft, this head combo. This is seriously nice three wood right here. I kind of just like hitting it. Let's hit it one more time. God, it feels so good off the face. I got a little, little flippy on that one. Sent it way up into the air, but wow. Uh, it feels pretty forgiving. I hit that pretty good on the toe there. And as expected, it's drawing. But we're still moving it out there. Some 280 in the air with a toe strike. Definitely lost a little bit of direction, but that's mostly due to me. Let's see if we can really put a little more into one for one last ball. This. A little tight draw. Come on! Boom! So it does carry 305. Wow. I am very impressed with the Hanma Big LB. I'm impressed with the shaft. Feels really good. It felt like I could shape it the way I wanted to. Hanma is not a company you can sleep on anymore though. I mean, these guys are making some seriously awesome equipment. And I'm, I'm excited to see where this company goes. Um, I like their philosophy of kind of just mixing this classic design with the modern performance. I mean, you see the direct opposite at TaylorMade where they're all about this carbon fiber and everything to the driver to make it look like a race car and easy to market. I mean, these are just golf clubs. These are modern performance, but then they paint the carbon black so that you can't even see it. I mean, you have completely two different sides. And that's what, that's what golfers need in the industry. They need choices. Some guys are gonna love the look of the TaylorMade. Some guys are gonna love the look of this. I'm personally on the side of loving the look of something like this. That is very traditional. There's nothing to upset you, to distract you when you have it down by the ball. And I like that. I would like to thank the Hanma rep, Josh Williams, for letting me borrow these clubs. He's letting me actually try out all this stuff. So I'm looking forward to reviewing the whole new TR21 line here. So if you wanna see the new irons, they're pretty awesome. They're kind of like a 790 competitor. They're hollow design, but traditional look, very good looking iron. Also gonna be looking at the driver the other fairway woods, hybrids, everything. I'm also gonna be posting swing tips and distance tips. As you can tell, I've got a little bit of speed on me. So if you're in the market and if you just like watching golf content or anything like that, or interested more in Hanma or how to hit the ball further, I encourage you to subscribe and I will try to pump out as much content as possible. But at the end of the day, it's not about the golf club, it's about you and how you hit it. And with that being said, go play some golf, brother. Oh, oh, oh.